Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have a Dollar Tree haul today. I'm in a different location. It's still summer break in New York, and my son has taken over the whole house. He's living his best life, and he's video gaming, so it's pretty noisy out there. So I decided to um, find a corner of my house and just do a haul here, because this is the only most farthest part this is the farthest spot away from my son that I could find and I'm gonna do my haul here and it just so happens that these are the curtains that if you watched my dumpster diving video I said I loved and I was gonna put in the farthest corner of my house where it's super windy and I put them up and I love them they're really really cute aren't they so cute um, so I'm just going to jump right into this haul, you guys, because I have an Ikea bag full of items. But first, I actually want to show you guys something that came from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't find it. It came from a subscriber named Michelle. It's all frosty because I'm actually having some, some coconut water iced in this gorgeous, gorgeous mug. It's almost like porcelain. It's not like your typical fat rimmed kind of mug. It's really thin. I really, it, it's ice cold. I feel like it's porcelain. Michelle actually found this in the Dollar Tree. She sent one to me, Constance and Pamela, my friends. And um, they all say woman power. And they're from Yes Studio. See that one? There is Michelle's little post-it, making sure that we each got one. It's just the most awesome mug. On the back of the box, it says, sometimes even the strongest of women need a strong coffee or tea to power through the day, kickstart your day and make a statement with our woman power mug. I love this. And sometimes, honestly, I, I saved the box because I've been meaning to share that this is in the Dollar Tree and I have not seen anybody haul it but Michelle, who is a wonderful subscriber. And she even kind of invented the phrase Dollar Tree Sta. So I owe her my awesome mug. Thank you, Michelle, and the phrase Dollar Tree Sta that I love. So I'm going to get into the haul, but I've been dying to share that with you guys. Has anybody else ever found this mug but Michelle, or is she the only lucky one? The first thing that I can't wait to share with you guys are that the Dollar Trees are full of cereal right now. I found the Cheerio strawberry ones that I've been dying for. They're not in this haul, but they're out there. The General Mills Lucky Charms Honey Clovers. I didn't even know that these existed. My son already ate an entire box of them and I tasted them. These are really good, you guys. This is a really yummy cereal. It's a 10.9 ounce box and cereal flies through my house. Like my son literally thinks that a box of cereal is two bowls of cereal. I tried to explain to him that that can't possibly be. And he was like, what are you talking about, mom? I filled my bowl twice and the box was empty. So it's two bowls of cereal. And I said, okay, that makes sense. They also have this Trix oatmeal that has these colorful, crunchy toppings. The cereal is sweet. Even if you don't put the crunchy topping on it, it actually still tastes like sweet and good. So, um, you know, you might want to taste it before you even add the crunchy topping to it, but it's a good deal, actually. It's a brand name cereal for $1.25. I'm happy to get that. I'm just pulling stuff out of the Ikea bag at this point. I found this Heal Your Body, Mind, and Spirit with Essential Oils book, and this was on my mega wish list. I actually think that, I think the first person I saw haul this might have been Angie from My Fairy Treasures. It's been a while that I want this. This might not even be the exact same book she holds, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. But this is the first essential oils book that I found in the Dollar Tree, um, I think, ever, actually. I I think this is the one. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But this is a good one. There's stuff in here for insomnia. And it says cedarwood, Roman chamomile, frankincense, lavender, and marjoram. And if you want to have no mind chatter, I guess if you're going through like a really stressful period of time in your life, the crazy thing is that I opened up right to this page and um, 
I wasn't actually planning on opening up to this page. I had looked at a different page on like anxiety and stuff like that, but, um, I'm actually going through a little bit of insomnia, which I never have. I'm usually dead asleep by like 830. And I don't think I have insomnia, but I'm not really sure exactly what it is. But my doctor has scheduled a sleep study for me and people are going to be studying me while I'm sleeping. So I'm pretty sure I won't be getting any sleep. Um, the whole idea of it seems like it's just not going to work, but I'm going to go. Um, but it says here in order to, um, you know, dissuade your mind chatter, you could use one teaspoon of carrier oil, three drops of Frank incense oil, and two drops of Roman chamomile. It says to combine all these oils in a small glass bowl and then massage the mixture onto your temples before going to bed. I don't think that would work for me because I would be too stressed out about the whole idea of my hair being greasy that that wouldn't work for me. But they do have like a, a slumber diffuser blend, which is cedarwood, lavender, and frankincense in various parts. Um, they have a bath time blend of essential oils. They have irritability. There are so many different things. Wow. Irritability. We can start secretly giving this to people so that they, so that, <laughs> wow, they have the cure for irritability in essential oils. We can just start secretly giving this to people, or we should just start like wearing this so that every person we come across is instantly not irritable. So I'm going to give you guys the secret to a happy life right here. Um, the frustration free inhaler blend. So if you like douse yourself in this and just walk through life, people will just hand you the keys to their car and wonderful things are going to happen. <laughs> this book was worth a buck and a quarter. Um, so you need seven drops of lavender oil, five drops of sandalwood oil, and three drops of Liang Liang oil and one nasal inhaler. Oh, uh, wait, a nasal inhaler. I thought this was supposed to be we can't shove it up other people's noses. <laughs> I thought we an anger free balm. Wow, there's no diffuser one. Ah, they thought of this. It says it's good to get a little help in times of anger and irritability. Massage a small amount onto your temples whenever you need to turn down the heat of anger or irritability. Uh, you need a half ounce beeswax four ounces coconut oil, one ounce olive oil, 15 drops of bergamot oil, 10 drops of sandalwood oil, six drops of neroli oil, five drops of geranium oil, and, and one two ounce dark glass container. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess we're not getting the keys to people's cars and no one's going to just be handing me millions of dollars because I found the secret to making everyone just be happy and loving. But there is a lot. I'm, I mean, I'm joking, but honestly, the book is great. I really did thumb through it. And a lot of these things make a lot of sense. And um, I, lo I love it. I think it's amazing. I think that it's also very easily printed to follow, really easy reading. And it just seems to have a remedy for almost everything with essential oils, which are really a pure and holistic type of healing. And I really like that. So yeah, I love this book. I'm, I was really thrilled when I saw that. If you guys saw, if you guys saw some of the pictures in my thumbnail, then you know that I have gone yardly crazy, but the Dollar Tree is giving us what they feel like giving us. And some of the things that I get excited about are Yardly. I love Yardly products. So just recently, I went shopping with Pamela to Staten Island. And we found two different types of wipes. I'm going to show them to you. Um, they do still have here around me, here and there, some of the Yardly disposable washcloths. And I did pick up three of them because I'm definitely going to do some gift baskets. You get 18 of these Yardley washcloths. We've seen them before and they are in the chamomile and vitamin E aloe vera fragrance. They're huge. They're really wonderful wipes. 
definitely, definitely worth your dollar twenty-five for sure. And of course, you all know that we have the Shea Butter Body Lotion and the English Lavender Body Lotion and the Almond Oatmeal Body Lotion. And you can still find these floating around in the Dollar Trees, not as prevalently as you were able to find them before, but they still are floating around on many of the New York shelves. You can still unearth them which is very exciting. Of course, they have tons of Yardley bar soaps and who knows what else they're going to give us. But this, this hand soap is the cincher because I love the idea of, of course, the oatmeal and almonds, natural essential oil hand soap. You guys, this smells off the hook. Amazing. Amazing. It's like Jergens. Oh, it's like, oh my God. I just, of course I put it up my nose. It is like, it's like the Jergens almond marzipan cherry blossom scent that we all love. I don't think anybody does not love that scent, but 10 times more amazing. It's like really hardcore, that scent. But if you have the oatmeal and almond body lotion and the oatmeal and almond hand soap, you have a great gift. Then get a bar of soap and a really nice natural colored scrubby or a nice bath sponge, some shower fizzies. Grab a package of these and you already have a great, a great gift. But add these face wipes in and now we're talking high end gift. I, I think somebody gave me these products. I would be ecstatic. The other scent of the hand soap is English lavender, and it's also literally marvelous. It's marvelous. It's, sell it's scent is, oh, it's so beautiful. I know a lot of people hate that scent. I will say that so many people complain that um, the Yardley English lavender scent is old ladyish, but the Yardley English lavender scent is very authentic English lavender oil scented, which is what I love about it. And these are alcohol free, paraben free, phthalate free, SLS free, and PEG free. These are really clean products, a trusted brand name, which is Yardley, 14 fluid ounces. I can go on and on, you guys. Of course, pair this up with this and some purple bath sponges and purple bath fizzers and maybe like a sprig of faux lavender in a basket. You can really make this super high end on a teeny tiny bougie bougie budget. But these wipes are not cutting any corners. I tried this wipe last night. You know what? I have such an abundance of great face wipes. I have to say that for what the Dollar Tree is lacking in super high-end brand name makeup lately, they have definitely tried wiping it off of our faces because I don't think I remember ever getting so many choices of incredible makeup wipes as I have been getting the last year and a half. Um, it started with those spa scriptions, but the really, you know, the thickest wipe you'll ever use those that were like 60 and wonderful and so many various, I guess, um, elixirs. They all had like a different, for poor control, wrinkles, collagen, vitamin C, you name it. That was the first like influx of tons of face wipes. Then we got, um, a bunch of BYS wipes that I fell in love with. They're my favorite that I've ever, ever gotten. And now we have these Yardley wipes. So I do feel like we have had an explosion of face wipes. And using face wipes is something we all do. And it's just such a nice luxury to be able to get a really good brand name one that's not going to break your skin out, that's gentle, that does what it says it's going to do and feels amazing. Um... The BYS ones are by far my favorite wipe. I think I've said this a million times that I have ever in my life used. And I think you only get her 20 or 25, but I bought 10 of them. 
Pamela and I went to Staten Island the other day and we found even more BYS wipes in coconut. I can't wait to use those. But honestly, because I love Yardley so much, as soon as I came home, I used this one last night. The Dead Sea Minerals Deep Cleansing Facial Towelettes by Yardley. These are the bomb, guys. They're wonderful. They're legit. The real deal. You won't be disappointed. And what this says is that it will eliminate skin toxins, protect skin against dehydration and the environment. It's alcohol-free, naturally inspired. Kind of gizmo wording that is, but the wipe does work beautifully. pH balanced and hypoallergenic. I don't know what naturally inspired mean because we can be inspired to do a lot of things and that doesn't mean that we're doing them. So <laughs> that is a very interesting phrase that it's really boasting proudly, but I do absolutely love how they worked. So, and it's dermatologist tested and it is cruelty. I just checked because I was like, what is this nonsense here? But they are animal cruelty free, which is very important. There is no need to hurt an animal in order for me to take my makeup off. Not in this day and age. So I'm very, very happy to see that. And their scent is super pleasant. They have like a really clean, fresh scent that you definitely will love, I, I think. They definitely have a scent. If you don't like scented face wipes, you may not like that. But I enjoyed it, it was wonderful. You get 25 of them. Then they have these deep cleansing face towelettes. I'm gonna be using this one tonight. And it says that they are hyaluronic acid essence. They have the ability to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Why didn't I use this one last night? I should have busted this one out first. Fine lines and wrinkles reduced a month before my birthday. Yes, thank you. And it also says that they alleviate dry skin and speed up wound healing. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember reading that. I thought that was pretty impressive. They speed up wound healing. That's cool. I mean, I guess it's great. Now this is a good makeup remover wipe for teens that might be having some acne. Oh, the scents are not exactly the same. Isn't that amazing how this one has kind of like an earthy aloe scent and this one is some type of floral, but like cucumbery floral. So yeah, they're both scented differently, but they're very pleasant and not like crazy, very light, exactly what you would expect from Yardley. I am thrilled to buy 25 Yardley wipes for $1.25 absolutely thrilled. Anything by Yardley, I will always buy. I know you guys have already seen these a million and one times, but I just am literally in awe. And I, of course, showed them in my walkthrough forever ago. But, uh, but in case you have not seen these, let me just say they are as amazing as they look. They are super duper well-made. This white one is super cute. Um, it's like raffia, so, so nice. And it has the dark stem, which I find to be a really nice contrast. Some of them have light stems and some of them have dark stems. The more natural, like basket weave ones all have dark stems and you can pop them off of their stems. And this one is my favorite. The one with like the moss and it just says natural pumpkin. They all say that, but these moss covered pumpkins. I'm going to use these at Easter too. They're going to go in my Easter display. I love them. They're going to have like multi season uses as far as I'm concerned, because this also can go into Easter decor. I like to be able to recycle things. And then they had this dark, like wicker looking raffia one, super beautiful, very, very nice as well as this one. If you pop these off of the stem, you can use them as pumpkins now, put them in a big basket full of natural things on a table, put some essential oils in there, and you can leave those out year round. But all of the natural ones are so impressive. These are what I found. There are two different neutral ones, one super light and one medium, and then they have like a dark, so that right there is gorgeous. Like you can literally upcycle these into something really interesting. They are very 
texturally appealing and there there are a lot of possibilities for these i really think you could even like you could even get four of these and use them as like little legs for a nice wicker basket and give it like height or an ottoman they're very sturdy there are a lot of things you could do with them they're not just pumpkins they could be little legs for a basket that you could put a plant in so many cool things could be done with these. I seriously like them a lot. And I did get um, a couple of each color. This one is my absolute favorite. And I picked up three of them because those are just ethereal. They're just like a whole other world of decor. I love those. And I just actually picked up one of this because I'm not like a super white, white aesthetic type of person, but I do think they're marvelous for what they are. If that's your look, you could do glam with those. There's so many things you could do with these. They're really, really high end looking. They seem like they were made for pier one and ended up at Dollar Tree, but I know they didn't. And then let's talk about these sweater weather pumpkins because these are super cute. I mean, super cute. They would be so cute to put in, um, like a baby shower gift basket, my little pumpkin, the white one seems to be smaller than all the other ones from what I have seen. Now, these sweater weather pumpkins are just marvelous. And what I could see someone doing, because they're so like casual and cozy and just fluffy, of course, flower arrangements and the whole shebang. But imagine just taking a bunch of them and putting them around one of those just single layer wire wreaths and just making a wreath out of just a circle of colors. I feel like that would be so beautiful and so like Gap circa 1990. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, of course you would need like probably 12 of them to go around the whole medium size wreath, but it would just be super cute. They come in the color off white, which seems to be the smallest. Um, I don't think they're not sized, but I just happened to notice that the white one is the smallest and it was the smallest in a, across the whole box. And then they have this pretty, pretty pink, cute for a baby girl gift basket as well as a baby shower or something like that. This beautiful green. I love the green and I love, love the blue and this really super like gray sweater weather the gray really makes it a sweater pumpkin and the classic orange. I really, really like these. They are definitely something that the Dollar Tree has just made for us. They've never had anything like this. They really do seem like they cost way more than $1.25. And I know for a fact that during the fall season, if these had stumbled their way into Pier 1 Imports, may it rest in peace, my favorite, favorite company, Oh, I thought that they smelled, but I'm smelling my candle. I'm so silly. I'm actually burning. My favorite scent from Bath & Body is Palo Santo. It smells like cinnamony and manly in here right now. It's very nice. So back to my original thought. You guys thought I forgot. Had I found something like this in Pier 1, they would have definitely been like $5.99, $6.99 coming out of the gate, maybe more. And then if we were lucky and found a handful of them on clearance, we would be able to use them the following year. Or at least I would, because that's how I operated with Pier 1. I would just wait for things to go on clearance. But yeah, these are incredible, beautiful, absolutely fantastic. For $1.25, I think there is total value in these. They are definitely worth the money. Did I buy way too many? Probably. Am I going to use them? You better believe it. Then I did pick this board up and the Dollar Tree has been making these um, wooden, they're, they're wood, they're actual wood plaques for every season lately. It does have the pumpkin cut out, but for me, it doesn't matter because I picked up several of these, in fact, three of them, and I'm going to be making one of those retro mail centers that um, I feel like we all had in our youth. It actually does work. I laid it out in the store 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably paint just this part that says hello autumn and I can drop mail as it comes into the house in here and then sort it out later. Just in case you guys haven't seen these absolutely adorable. They're so adorable. They're really durable, nicely well made. You can actually pry this metal part off and actually adhere this to the board, which I thought about doing as well because it's pretty easy to remove it off of there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just paint this part with some chalk paint. Super easy peasy. In fact, I don't even really have to paint them because once I start to put mail in there, you won't see anything anyway, but I would like to paint it just because I want to paint it teal. I love how distressed chalk paint teal looks with um, galvanized metal. I think they'll be super duper really cute for a little mail center, basically like $5 to make it. And you know, maybe I'll use the beads at the top to hang it. I'm not sure, but it's just a super easy peasy little thing that I think is going to be super cute. The Dollar Tree made the super seventies boho looking pumpkins this year. And I am all in with them. Absolutely. These are my vibe so much. I wish that I had a leather chair that there was this color orange. I just love this color orange and I love that it's faux leather. I, I've literally, when I look at this, envision having like a nice leather chair in this color. I love orange. It's one of my absolute favorite colors. And I think this brown is so, so beautiful. It's like the perfect, they're, they're so 70s. They really are very retro. Just was amazed. I think they're really well made. Look at how they're stitched. They, they remind me of like bean bags even. I don't know. I love them. I love, love these. And this is the type of pumpkin that you can use year after year. It will just become like a classic part of your decor. You can make a basket full of pumpkins of all different textures and colors. And I just love seeing all of these colors and textures and just, oh yes, this is so my vibe. And the velvet pumpkins that I have from last year, I have to get them out. I already have mine. You guys know that I, I think I bought every single color pumpkin they made last year in velvet. But I mean, velvet and raffia and sweater and leather all in one basket. Now that is perfect in my world. There is no choosing. You can have everything. <laughs> now they did make these tags and they're wonderful. They're so super nice. They're in faux leather. Really nice. You get two for $1.25. And these are the perfect item to wrap around the cellophane of a hostess gift, food gift baskets for the holidays of Thanksgiving. This is the perfect perfect accoutrement to seal your basket up with. This one says blessed in the maple leaf and the pumpkin says harvest. And they do have one that says grateful, I believe grateful and blessed, but I just picked these up. If you have an office or something like that, and you're making baskets for your employees, this is a nice way to seal up the cellophane. And it really does add a little something lovely for not that much money. You write to and from on the back of this, which makes it even more worth the money because you don't have to really have a gift tag anymore. It's on the back of this and they'll keep it. I don't know. I just think these are great. They also made these outrageously nice. I love these. These are so nice. Uh, faux leather leaves. And what I was thinking would be so cute with that you get eight. There's the number eight. Sorry, guys. You get eight of these for $1.25. And what I was thinking would be so cool to do with these is just take them and glue them onto burlap pillows. I have lots of burlap pillows. How cool would that be to just have some leaves, fall colored leaves? They do have another pattern and I do think I bought them. Uh, the oak leaf, I believe. Um, you could just put them as though they're falling all over your pillows in a pattern or just haphazardly. But if you were to put these on just a plain burlap pillow, 
like like how that is. See, if you were to just stick some of these on like a plain burlap pillow, like I'm showing you against this chair's background, I think it would really look good. Plus the other shape, which for some reason I don't have here right at the second, it's in some other haul bag, but you get eight of them. There's so much you could do with them. You could just use them as table scatter. You could actually get a bunch of these, which I've done with different types of leaves that the Dollar Tree has made in the past, and you can make a table runner out of them. You just start gluing them together and make it bigger and bigger, and because these are faux leather, now this is going to be really a nice, a nice table runner because it's just a whole other texture. I made a table runner out of fabric leaves last year and I loved it. I love having like earthy elements on my table because I like to also eat foods that are earthy. Like I like a lot of natural foods or vegetables. I do like that. And I just love to have like table decor that has that represented in it. I, I guess because I'm a Virgo, I just like earthy things. And the pumpkin palooza continues. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think these are the last pumpkins I picked up. I just couldn't stop buying pumpkins. I'm sorry. Uh, there was no makeup during that weekend. I just bought every pumpkin because they were just so, so appealing, honestly. I mean, look at the size of these. They're a nice size. They're really soft, really squishy. They had them in like mint green and pink and a whiter version, but I just love this light, peachy, super pretty. Like this pumpkin could live here in this like soft candlelight. It's just so, I, I just feel like I could just pop pumpkins anywhere. Put a pumpkin here. Why not? And just, it just changes everything. It just makes it become more fall. Like I can put this on a little stand and put a couple, you know, I could just do, it doesn't take a lot to like spruce up a little space. If I put this on a little pedestal and I put a couple of soft, pretty pumpkins It'll soften the room and decorate it for the fall. And, you know, I did buy quite a few pumpkins. Almost everything I bought last year was donated, except for my velvet pumpkins. I thought we wouldn't ever get those again, so I kept every one of those and loved them. But um, these are really, really nice. I have to say, they're, there's something really satisfying about them. They're soft and fuzzy and just, just really cozy. They do have tons of choices, but I guess I'm gravitating towards a lot of these cozy, warm sort of pumpkins. They have a lot of ceramic pumpkins and and so many to choose from, metallics and glittery and sparkly, but I didn't buy all of those. I've had them in the past. I've had the metallic, sparkly, glittery, and I love those. But this year, I'm really feeling these like soft and then the warmth of the leather and then the coziness of these textured raffia pumpkins. I just love that vibe. And then adding in the richness of the velvet ones is going to give me like a really beautiful tablescape. And I think that this year, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make one long tablescape of pumpkins. And I'm going to put them in the center of my table on an old picture frame that I have, like a long frame. I'm just going to flip it over and just put pumpkins inside of it, maybe those leaves and stuff. And when I'm needing the whole table, I'll just put them on my buffet and then put them back down. But I'll put some candles in there and stuff. But I'm really psyched about the, the really warm, inviting, texturally appealing nature of all of those pumpkins. And yeah, I think it's going to be really nice. Then you guys, the Dollar Tree made these super cute Halloween amber colored glass bottles. And what they say is wool of bat, which is brew. Um, this one that's kind of turned in says trimmed spider eggs, unfiltered poison. So unfiltered poison, trimmed spider webs, which is brew and wool of bat. And they come in many sizes. Now I'll probably put these around maybe for Halloween. I'll tell you guys what I plan on doing with these. 
I plan on doing little rootings of leaves with the super little ones um, because I do have some plants that I'm rooting and I think it's just cute to get roots in these teeny tiny little bottles. I think that'll be so cute on the windowsill. Just love the size of how teeny tiny those are. And you know, when a leaf falls and you want to root it, you could just put it in water and it will root. And I just think it'll be super cute on the ledge of my cabinets to have little leaves that are rooting and growing. I love that. And then I bought the two bigger sizes, well, one to show you guys, but also because I found that essential oils book, I can make my concoctions in here. And I mean, I'll just leave the cute Halloween labels on them and I'll know, but then eventually I'll probably just relabel them. I think they're super cute. I just think they're really nice amber glass bottles with a really cool cork stopper. And, you know, they do come in these different sizes. I don't know how much liquid fits inside of them, but through trial and error, I'll figure it out because I can just gauge it. These two probably hold the same amount of liquid, but it's an optical illusion. And these are definitely smaller, if I were to guess. But I am going to be putting my essential oil concoctions in here. And I think that for $1.25, they're really just um, a fun little purchase that you can use for Halloween. You can hang them in your Halloween tree or put them in. You can make a little shelf and make it look like tons of little poisons in a background. You could do a lot of things, but then after Halloween, you could use them for other stuff because it's good to have amber colored bottles. Certain things have to be put in colored glass so that it doesn't get um, filtered by the sun. A lot of the things that I had for my hauls got all mixed up and I'm going to share these with you guys, but I did not find these. These were picked up by Pamela and Constance on their road trip and brought back to me the best kind of Dollar Tree haul, the one you don't even have to leave your house for. Those are the best. And honestly, Freeman products, but lovely neck firming and smoothing sheet mask. I'm so down for that. And this one says pretty arms, toning and smoothing sheet mask. And you get two of them for your arms and you can feel it. It's really thick. But, um, you know, it's just a mask. It's not going to give me lipo, but still it's nice for $1.25. I'm down to put an entire Freeman bodysuit on. If they bring it to the Dollar Tree, I'll wear it. I picked this book up and it's called Happier Every Day. It's time to be happy. And on the back of the book, it says joyous content, carefree, whatever you call it. It's a feeling we're all hoping for. And in Happier Every Day, author and yoga instructor Paula Munier helps you discover how to capture it every way, mind, body, and soul. And I just, just before I started to read off to you what the book was about, I opened to any page and I stuck my thumb in it because I thought it was really interesting. I actually purchased this as an anniversary gift to my husband. Um, who has had a really rough year to say the least. And I thought that it might be something maybe he'll glance at. He'll probably make fun of me, but I still bought it for that reason. And working with our hands is also linked to peak performance and enhanced creativity. So put that smartphone down and pick up a glue gun, crochet hook, or a power drill. Use your hands to make something fun, something useful, something awesome, something happy. And that definitely works for my husband. When he is um, allowing himself to create things, it does definitely make him super happy. He gets super into it when, he's, when he finally decides to get around to it. So this has... Um, some suggestions. It says, get your hands dirty. And it's like laid out like that. It has lots of different, really fun little informative, in, you know, tidbits of information in it. It says, build a sand castle, finger paint, tool some leather, sculpt something, brew some beer, work some metal, create a collage, which I love making collages, uh, build a model, weed a garden, build a snowman, dig a flower bed, pull a Jackson Pollock, <laughs> make 
a sand painting, knead dough by hand, arrange flowers. Okay. Refinish a table. He loves to do that. Rebuild an engine, build a robot, whittle something, throw a pot, <laughs> throw a pot. I love that one. Oh my gosh. Do you guys know that there's actually a form of therapy called glass breaking therapy? And it started in Japan many years ago. Um, I used to like literally do, it was kind of like a thing, I guess maybe like around 20 years ago, my son's like 15. So maybe like 17 years ago, it was like an underground thing. And we used to have glass breaking therapy Tuesdays at my bar. People would pay for their glass. Like it would be like a drink plus extra money for the glass and they would get to break glass. It was dead on Tuesdays. So, but it was a thing because it was really popular to break glass. It was kind of crazy, but it let people get their aggression out and my porter was not happy. So glass breaking Tuesdays had to come to a stifling halt very quickly, but it says throw a pot. Interestingly enough, I'm sure that's will make you happy. I get really happy breaking glass. Let me tell you, Probably throwing a pot would make me even happier. I've never done it. Wallpaper your guest room, reupholster a chair, make sushi, build a bookshelf, bind a book, bind a book. Wow. Oh, wow. Constance does that. She makes the little books. A pine wood derby car, make your own paper. I've, I've made my own paper. Decoupage something. There you go. Decoupaging does make you happy. Do a mosaic. I love doing mosaics. I'm not that great at it, but I swear that I love it. Make a stained glass window. I wish that I could do that. I've always wanted to try that, and it's just kind of an expensive hobby. Paint clouds on the ceiling. I've done that in many an, an apartment, actually. Write in calligraphy. Towel your bathroom floor. I've done that, too. Make a picture frame. Create your own essential oils. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to start doing that. Look, I just, I'm like killing it at making myself happy. Repair a toaster. I'd probably end up frying myself. That one I'm not ever going to do. Stamp your own wrapping paper. That's really cute. Stencil a border. Decorate a cake. Not good at that at all. Shoot and develop photographs. Detail your car. Th see, th these are like great suggestions. It just made me happy to even read them. Here's an interesting one. It says, forgive. There is no love without forgiveness. And there is no forgiveness without love. That is so true. Brian H. McGill. So oh, I'm reading this to you guys because this is really interesting. They're less apt to hold grudges and nurse resentments or treat each other meanly. Not only do they forgive each other's failings, but they forgive themselves their own. One last bonus, forgiving couples live longer, according to a study in the Journal of Behavioral Medicine. But that part, but they forgive themselves their own, is really important. We beat ourselves up so badly, you guys, for not having thought of the exact right thing to say at the exact right moment, or not having made ourselves look exactly in the perfect light at that very moment or not having been the coolest person in the room or thought of the wittiest thing to say or I mean it could just be speaking for myself right now but I mean these are just random thoughts obviously <laughs> of course we all have these crazy insecurities but some of us really beat ourselves up forever like if you have a crazy work environment and you work amongst people who drive you crazy and you go home and you play the story over and over in your head and you're like oh why didn't I do this or why didn't I do that or um you know, if you're late to work or late getting your kids to school and the whole day you're like, oh, if I had just been a better parent, I would have gotten my kid to school on time. Or We have to learn to give ourselves a break sometimes and just be like, you know what? We're human. We make mistakes. Other people make mistakes. Who gives a crap? We're all going to die one day. We're not taking all these thoughts with us. So let's just let it go. I think that this book is like just good old wisdom because at the end of the day, being angry sucks. Being happy is the way to be. Um, being miserable does make your life miserable. You know, and we all know it. 
But yet when we're in it, it's so hard to get out of it. So I just, I don't know, but I think that this was an awesome book for $1.25. Now let's lighten it up a bit with Living Your Best Life According to Nala Cat. And I have a bunch of these at this point. Um, if you guys saw my recent haul with my aunt and my mother-in-law, I gave my mother-in-law one of these. She loves cats and she loves these little like page a day type of inspirational books. She just really enjoys looking at one page a day. She's a very patient, calm woman that will just look at one picture a day and absorb that and then wait till the next day. Me, I have to go through the whole book and then it's over. But some people love these books for that. Like they just look at them on a daily basis. And this one says, keep your eyes on the prize. And then look at how cute that picture is. Isn't that just adorable? Um, I hope she enjoys this. Reach your goals one paw at a time. And they're all of the same beautiful, beautiful kitty, the Nala cat. Ready, set, succeed. Hashtag work hard, play hard. So cute. I mean... Who can be upset when they're looking at a cute kitty? Embrace the impossible. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. The, the cat is like trying to get itself in this tiny box. Very, very cute book. I bought a few, like I said, because I just enjoy giving those as gifts instead of cards. Um, to animal loving friends of mine, people love pictures of cats and dogs and animals of course, people just love that. And baby pigs. I have a bunch of books, but I'm not going to share them all in this haul. I know sometimes I go overboard. I'm going to zigzag zen myself right through this one. Um, this is 60 wonderfully whimsical coloring pages. It says that it's a zentristing coloring book. And it is. It is a really cool adult coloring book. Really cute. Um, very, very intricate coloring pages and I'm going to probably include this in my 10,000 subscriber giveaway as well. I'm really amazed that someone could color that. I mean, that is tiny, you guys. Look at that. And it, it's, a, it's a form of art and relaxation and some people get zen like that. So that's impressive to me. And yeah, so I picked that up to include that in upcoming someday, hopefully soon, 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And I think that I'm going to start to put all of those items together and do a video sharing with you guys all of the stuff that's going to be in that ginormous giveaway because I can't wait to get to 10,000 and send it out to a lucky, lucky winner. So... When I finally get to 10,000, I'll be able to call a winner sooner than later, hopefully. This very moment, this is all wishful thinking because anything could happen. And before I know what happened, it's way past 10,000 and I haven't made the video yet. But I really want to just sit down and put it all out and show you guys all the awesome things I've collected for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Random Acts of Drawness. I picked up 13 copies of this book. I actually found a whole bunch of them. And I took 13 of them because that was like what I grabbed. And it says, have you ever tried drawing a duck on roller skates, eating a slice of pizza? Or how about drawing with a pencil between your toes? Well, grab that pencil and get ready to let loose because things are about to get random. And I think that just the cover, the colors is perfect. This is a beautiful donation book and it has just lots of little things for kids to try random acts of drawness and any word that you put ness at the end to makes me happy drawness love it i was able to buy a case of these i think i have like 16 or 24 of these i bought a case of them they had several cases these are great because you get the little cup the toothbrush and the little cap for traveling and they're fun and cute. I mean, kids can just use this cup to drink out of in the shelters. This could become their cup. Doesn't necessarily have to be a toothbrushing cup, but it's just a nice little gift. And, you know, if they do have the luxury of keeping it all in their bathroom, that's even better. It comes in Hot Wheels. It comes in very popular, super cute Barbie. And the toothbrush is purple. Really, really. Kids are going to love these. 
and they're toothbrushing. Now this Blippy thing, I honestly don't know who Blippy is, but it's part of the collection. And so I got that too. Maybe those, I think maybe those are the only three that come in that. I know that I picked up a bunch of these also. They don't have the cup, but they're Shopkins and they're very popular. I picked up a bunch of them. They had a ton of them on the shelf. They had others, but I don't, I don't think I picked up others. I know that I picked up a bunch of the Shopkins because little girls absolutely love Shopkins and little girls love Barbie. And I think that those make fun little stocking stuffers. And I know the little boys are going to love the Hot Wheels or the moms might take the Blippi. I actually really and truly do not know who Blippi is. So if it's a popular show, let me know. But um, I'm sure that you know, moms will take the blippy because it's blue. They'll give it to their boys, you know, but I definitely think that Hot Wheels and Barbie, yes, kids are going to love that. I told you guys that in this haul, um, there are a bunch of items that I just put in the bag, many of which I actually didn't find. This has not yet come to New York. We all saw Thrifty Tiffany proudly have this in her thumbnail at least all of us that love the Dollar Tree. And when Constance and Pamela found this in their travels, I was like, oh, wow, I love that. Um, it is actually a matte finish neutralizing um, powder for balancing your complexion. But this, this basket weave color, it, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. But what I think, I mean, of course, it's perfect to put over your skin to color correct your skin. It's hard candy. I mean, we have not seen hard candy in ages. We're jumping at the bit, but it is really, really pretty. Um, but what I think it would be great for, and I'm going to show you guys, it's a matte finish. So it's not pearly or a highlighter or anything like that packaged so nicely. It's like magnetic. And um, I'll show you guys. That is the yellow the blue. There is definitely a difference. So we have yellow, blue, and lavender. But what you can do with this is after you prime your eyelid, put, you know, just put it across your whole eyelid to not really prime your eyelid, but to like even, even out your coloring. And then, oh, and it has like a really nice texture. This is lovely. Um, it's really silky and nice. So once you apply, yeah, this will be good. If you find this, this is per, for me, I'm going to use it for that. I know it's going to do good work. I will put my primer on and if I'm planning on using like makeup and maybe trying to get it to last me all day without having to touch it up, I will put this on after the primer and then apply my eyeshadow because it has like a silky, creamy texture, but it will, it'll be like I'm making a one color canvas to then put my eyeshadow on, if that makes any sense. And it'll make it easier to blend. So this is really nice, really, really beautiful. Also, if it's a really hot day, you could just put this on over your foundation. And since I am very light skinned for me personally, if it's a really hot day, I could probably use it as like a almost blotting powder type of thing to take the shine away um, because we all do get sweaty and greasy in the summer. But uh, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful Sheer Envy color correcting powder little palette. Very gorgeous. Really grateful that the girls got this for me. It's beautiful. And last but definitely not least, I did pick up this Pillsbury Funfetti frosting with the red, white, and blue sprinkles. I think that's a good amount of sprinkles to get for free when we're paying $1.25 for those other little packs from Twinkle. And they do have stars in them. Do you guys see that? It's not just regular. It's fun, fun, fun Fetty sprinkles. I will probably kick off the end of summer on Labor Day weekend with some patriotic cupcakes. And uh, they'll be delicious with that fun Fetty. For $1.25, it's a fun little treat. And I did pick up a bunch of these pineapple hint waters. These have quickly become my favorite hint water, and I'll tell you guys why. 
take a big cup of ice, pour a whole can of coconut water. The Dollar Tree sells it. Um, and I love the coconut water from the Dollar Tree and pour a whole hint water in there. And you get this ginormous pineapple, pina colada, watery kind of obviously non-alcoholic water and coconut water drink. It's actually good for you. Super delicious. And only two fifty. but I mean, it's slamming delicious. It's not like a super strong, like pina colada, thick, creamy. It's not creamy, but coconut water does have a little bit of that milky yumminess and it's sweet. I love coconut water. I actually drink coconut water almost all the time since I've kicked the soda habit and I've rarely, rarely ever drink soda anymore. And the pineapple with the coconut water is delicious. Sometimes I even have my Victor Allen. I pour a whole thing of Victor Allen in a big thing of ice and then I I pour a whole thing of coconut water in it and I drink like watered down coconut coffee drink, but it tastes really good. It tastes coconutty, coffee, watery, but good. It's actually delicious. These are the crazy concoctions that I've been making lately because I used to be a bartender and I love to mix all kinds of weird drinks up. But yeah, that's my new favorite hint water. And that's it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here and listening and being friends as well as part of my awesome YouTube community. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.